let's convert equations into y equals mx plus b. We would want to do this if we are asked to convert to slope-intercept form or if we need to find the slope and y-intercept when it's in a different form or if we're just asked to graph the line, this form is super nice. I'm Angie. Let's go ahead and start with this example. So I want to graph 2x plus y equals 1. The easiest way to do this is to get it into y equals mx plus b. If you haven't seen my video on graphing in slope-intercept form, go ahead and take a look at the description down below for that link. What we really want to do here, though, is to take this equation and solve it for y. I want y on one side and everybody else on the other. So I've got 2x plus y equals 1. I really need to move that 2x over. So I'm going to subtract the 2x from both sides. And I end up with y is equal to, I've got the 1 and the negative 2x. Now I want that form mx plus b, so I'm going to write the negative 2x first. That one is really a positive one, so I get a plus 1. So this tells me that I've got a slope of negative 2, or negative 2 over 1, and an intercept, a y-intercept of 1. I'm going to go ahead and start by plotting my y-intercept, so this is going to be a 1. And then from that y-intercept, I'm going to go ahead and move with my slope, and I'm going to put the negative with the 2. So let's go negative 2 over 1. You could do it the opposite way, and you'd still be on the same line. So I want to go negative 2 in the y direction, so negative 2 in the y direction, and then positive 1 in the x direction, and there's my second point. I really just need two points for that line. Let's go ahead and plot it. So there is our line double arrows since I've got infinitely many solutions on that line. In this next one, I want to convert to slope-intercept form. We're not asked to graph this. So I'm going to go ahead and just dive right in. I know that I want y equals mx plus b. And I have x minus 3y is equal to 6. I'm going to keep my eye on that y. So I really want y's on one side and everything else. I'm just going to say like the rest on the other side. So that x needs to move. So let's subtract the x from both sides. So I get negative 3y is equal to, now I really want my x term first. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did before and write the x term first, negative x, and then 6 is a positive 6, so plus 6. I am almost there, but I really want y by itself. It's multiplied right now by a negative 3, so let's go ahead and divide everything on both sides by that negative 3. So I'm going to divide a negative 3 on the left and a negative 3 both terms on the right. So on the left, my negative threes cancel, which is great, and I get y. On the other side, I've got this negative x over negative three. I want you to think about that negative one over negative three. That's gonna give me my coefficient. The two negatives become positive. So I get a one third, and I'm just gonna leave that in front of my x. And then six divided by negative three is negative two, and there's my equation in slope-intercept form. In this next one, we're asked to identify the slope and the y-intercept, but I'm given 3x plus 2y equals 4. This is standard form, where I have my variable terms on one side and my constant or my number on the other side. What I really want here is slope-intercept form. So my goal is y equals mx plus b. So I want to get rid of that 3x, and I want y terms on one side and everybody else on the other side. So I'm going to subtract that 3x from both sides. Looks a lot like the one that we just did, right? So I get 2y, that's a 2 not a z, is equal to, um, let's do the 3x term first, negative 3x plus a 4. Almost there, but I've got that 2 multiplied by the y, so I need to divide everybody both sides by the 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2. I end up with y, because my 2's cancel, is equal to negative 3 over 2. Let's go ahead and write that as our m, our slope out in front, x plus 4 divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. My slope is the number out in front of x, so m is equal to negative 3 over 2, and my y-intercept b is equal to 2. 
You guys are doing great. Next, we're gonna look at equations of lines from two points. Thanks so much for watching.